Hey, in Acts chapter 2, there is this beautiful theme of God moving ahead of what he's going to do next. His spirit is already wooing people's hearts and drawing people into what it is he's going to do. And as the disciples are in the upper room and the Holy Spirit comes upon them, they move out into the streets, they're speaking in languages, and who is there but a crowd that God has drawn? You know, I love being reminded that God is always at work in this world, that he is the one drawing people close to him, but that he invites you and I to be a part of it. Now, this theme is carried through all sorts of aspects in the Bible, but one of my personal favorites is found in the Gospel of John, verse 6, beginning in verse 35. Listen to these words because Luke talks about us being a witness to the presence of Christ in our lives. And if it's true, as Acts declares it true, that the Holy Spirit has taken up residence, that means the presence of God lives within you and me. And so we now are a witness to the world. Everyone who looks at us sees the presence of God. And so what I love about this, though, is that there isn't pressure. It's not about trying to get everybody to follow Jesus. It's simply showing people how Jesus is alive in us and what he's doing to our hearts and our minds, making our hearts soft. But listen to John 6, 35 to, to give you some hope this week. Then Jesus declared that I am the bread of life. He who comes to me will never go hungry, and he who believes in me will never be thirsty. But as I told you, you have seen me, and still you do not believe. But listen to this. All that the Father has given me will come to me, and whoever comes to me I will never drive away. For I have come down from heaven to do my will, not to do my will, but to do the will of him who sent me. And this is the will of him who sent me, that I shall lose none of all that he has given me, but raise them up on the last day. For my Father's will is that everyone who looks to the Son and believes in him shall have eternal life, and I will raise him up on the last day. That's that day of the Lord that Joel talks about. That's the day of the Lord that Peter addresses the crowd with. And that's the message that cuts to the heart. My friends, if you don't know Jesus, this is a great week to spend some time simply inviting him into your life. Jesus, if you are in fact the Son of God, would you come and reveal yourself to me? And then as we go forth into the world, another prayer would simply be, God, as I am the temple of the living presence of God dwelling inside of me, show me what your will is for me today. How can I help others to know your grace, your peace, and your mercy? In Jesus' name, amen. My friends, go forth in this.